So we wanted to reduce our carbon footprint. Then we thought, what can we do in our own individual way as our contribution? And solar was really a, a good one for, for green renewable energy. My name is Landon Aldridge. I'm the uh, Vice President of Operations for Skyfire Energy. Uh, I've been in the solar industry now since 2005, so 16 years. When I started, it was more about passion. You know, someone that just loved solar, loved the idea, um, wasn't so concerned about the, the cost side of it. You know, now it's become, you know, more or less mainstream in that, you know, solar will actually produce uh, electricity at a cheaper cost than what you're going to buy from the grid. So now we're, you know, now we're in the conversation of, of being a really good, you know, financial investment. And especially now when you consider that you're contributing to hopefully resolving the climate emergency, even though it's a tiny piece of the huge pie, but at least it's something. Solar is really the only source of alternative energy that would help us get to that net zero that, that we're trying to achieve you know, as a province. You know, the salesperson in me says right away, let's start looking at solar. But you know, in reality, we, we always tell people to, to go after the low hanging fruit first, right? You know, whether that's you know, upgrading windows, you know, blowing in a little bit more insulation into the attic. Otherwise, solar is just producing energy to sort of offset your wasted energy. So let's get that home as efficient as we can, you know, within reason to start with, and then, you know, solar would be a good add-on from there. What I'd heard when I was first considering solar was from other people who had looked into it and decided that it wasn't a worthwhile investment. The return was just too low. However, I think with today's historically low interest rates, it's really as good as an investment as many other types of securities that you could get on the market. If you invest all that money into a solar system, then it's not just the return on the investment, but it, it's the value added to your home as well. Being an electrical engineer myself, I was looking for certain aspects in the specifications. So we had three priorities that we really wanted to focus on. One was the highest efficiency panels available. The second was maximum production as allowed by our hydro provider. We said we wanted it future-proofed for electric vehicle charging and for a Tesla Powerwall. And the third was to be able to monitor our consumption and production. I can honestly say Skyfire delivered on all of those. Any system that we install, you'd have the ability to see what that system is producing. You can narrow it down to, to hourly, to yearly, right? So you can have those comparisons. Phil opted to get the uh, consumption monitoring as well. So now he's able to, in real time, compare what he's using in the home versus what his solar is actually producing. So I can see that for every day, at a flash, and I can even go back the entire 16 months that we've now had it installed and look at not only what I've produced, consumed, and so on, but I can even go down to the individual solar panel and check that it's working correctly. And that, that was a nice little add-on benefit too. You know, Phil had a lot of questions, which we love. You know, that, again, that speaks to his passion about it and his passion for being educated. I'd say almost all of our customers, you know, we'll first look at, you know, what are we trying to offset? And then we're going to size the system, you know, we're going to work backwards and size the system based on that. Typically, we're going to have some limitations on most homes. Either that's lack of south-facing roof, let's say. Sometimes it'll come down to electrical service size or, or you know, panel size. Very rarely do you get to just go right to, to achieving net zero and you know, you're not impeded by any of those factors. Phil, we were able to get him to, uh, to net zero or, or very close to, and you know, he had the available roof space. So my production this year means that we really will have, be at that break-even point. We're probably even producing more energy than we actually use. What's nice though, with the hydro provider, they act at the moment as my battery. So my excess production goes back into the grid, but they credit me one for one all that energy that they take back. Solar and any renewable energy system is PST exempt in BC. And then the announcement of the Greener Homes Grant was a big one. So that allows homeowners to get up to $5,000 back on their system. And then they would also reimburse up to $600 of the uh, energy audit itself. I think everything went according to expectations. And, and I attribute that to Skyfire because the advice they gave me led me to understand what the expectations were and could be. There was, there was no fluff, if you like, of trying to upsell something just for the sake of it. I just like that confidence in
doing things well and, and investing in them to make sure they're going to last. You know, these are a longer lasting product, a longer lasting system. You want to make sure it's designed and installed, you know, to last that full, you know, 30 plus years. These guys know what they're talking about and they're going to deliver to me what I really want, rather than what the supplier would prefer to sell. And that made a huge difference.